In this AutoCAD tutorial, I would like to talk about how you can change your elevation to help your drawing process. Right now I have two viewports, with the left viewport being the top view and the right, the southwest isometric view. What I'm going to do is just draw on the top view and I'm just going to draw a simple circle. So I'm just going to grab a circle, draw in there, and maybe I'll make it a 10 foot radius circle. So I can see that over here and on the right side as well. Now, if I wanted to, you know, for one reason or another, whether it was for a loft or creating surfaces or something, if I wanted to draw another circle or another shape above that vertically, I could do it two different ways. One way would be to simply draw another circle wherever I wanted it to be. And maybe I'll do a radius of five feet this time. And now it's laying flat on the ground with the first one. What I could do then is come in, use a simple move, and move that up to my desired height. Let's say my desired height is 10 feet. If I do a 3D orbit, you'll see that that is in fact up in the air, 10 feet floating above my other circle. And I didn't move it anywhere left or right or anything like that. It's still uh, exactly in that same location, just up higher. That process works fine, uh, but you do have the option to actually change elevation, and some people prefer to work that way. So I'm just going to delete that second circle for a moment and then come back to my top view. So instead of drawing on the ground, if you will, and moving it up, what we can do is change our elevation so it's right where we wanted to begin with. So what I'm going to do is instead of uh, just drawing it, I'm going to start with elevation. Before I do that, I'm just going to come down and turn off Object Snap for now just to not complicate the issue. So I'm going to type in ELEV for elevation, and you'll see that your default elevation is in fact zero, which makes sense. So if I make that 10 feet, I'll be 10 feet up in the air. You have the option here to change the thickness as well, just keep that at zero for now. So now when I draw a circle, and I'll make that five feet, it's automatically five feet up in the air. If I come over and orbit around, it's exactly where I wanted it. If I come back over to my top view and do that again, I can type in ELEV for elevation, and I could do a new default elevation of maybe 20 feet, keeping my thickness at zero. And now if I do one more circle, maybe over here, and I'll make that one, how about 15 feet, we can look over here and see that that is also up in the air exactly where I wanted it to be. I could come in and change from a top to maybe a right elevation view and you'll be able to see circle one, then two, then three going up in the air. So the results of either drawing on the ground and moving or changing your elevation are the same, it's just two different workflows to get to the same outcome.